In certain cases, you have to do complex uh, validations, lookups, or uh, calculations before adding data into a data source for PDF Builder. Up to now, that was only possible via Apex, but with this feature, you can also now add that data directly via a flow. So what we need is some key, uh, key value data sources. So we have, in this case, a single key value data source. So uh, that's for uh, just one record that you want to pass on to PDF Butter. And we have a list data source. So in this case, we want to pass on multiple records to PDF Butler. Okay, we have to fill these because these are part of our uh, doc config, as you can see. So this is part of the data sources in our doc config. And that data is then to be used by, uh, by PDF Butter while generating the documents. How we go about filling that data? Let's go for a simple example first. Yeah, we're going to create a, a variable called data source data. And this is a list of uh, values. The type is text. So what we're going to have to do if you want to pass on data uh, in a structured way from a flow into uh, our Apex component, so our uh, in, uh, a our action that you can call. Unfortunately, Salesforce does not allow that at this moment to do that in an object, so it has to be done in a text value. We're gonna formulate that text value here by creating a formula that will actually make it structured and passes on that data in a structured way. So we have a formula for creating a single value, and this is how this formula could look like. So we have first the identifier of our data source. That can be the ID of our data source. Uh, this is just the ID that's in here. Or it can be the customer data source ID. If you use the customer data source ID, that's a better option because the customer data source ID is unique over all systems. Of course, if you are dynamically uh, searching for which uh, data source to, uh, to uh, add data to, then you can still use the ID. But like I said, it's better to use the uh, customer data source ID because this is going to be unique over all, over all environments while the ID is not unique. That's really dependent on the environment you're on. So on a sandbox versus production. Let's take a look. So uh, this is now done. Next to that, we have to have an, uh, a pair of uh, data so that the data is split via a uh, pipe. So first of all, we have our data source identifier, then a pipe, then the name uh, is the uh, the field that we want to uh, use. So that's uh, the field we want to set. And then we have a, a column and then we have a value. If you want to have multiple field sets, we just separate them with a semicolon. We have the name of the new field, a column, and then the um, value of that field. Let's add a third field. Yeah? Uh, let's say that my, uh, and I want to put here the street, and I'm going to do here, uh, uh, let's say it's the mayor. So that's the street in Antwerp. So this is how you can add fields and split them up. So it's a structured way of adding data, uh, but this is the way that Salesforce requires us to do it, and it cannot be in an object, unfortunately. Okay, so this is how to create a single one. Now, what if you want to have multiple records, passing on multiple records into your uh, uh, via your key value data source? That can also be done. For instance, here, I'm going to get all of the opportunities related to a certain uh, account because I'm going to launch this flow from the account. And then in that opportunities, I'm going to loop. And of course, I'm going to do an assignment. And in that assignment, I'm going to again assign this data in the data source data. Yeah, do an add and then create uh, call a new formula to create the information for my uh, for my list data source. In this uh, list data source, the formula is quite the same, but of course now it's dynamic. It's not hard coded, so you can of course use the uh, um, the customer data source ID again, as you see here. That's this one. Uh, then a pipe because this identifies where the data starts. And then we're going to call a field P1. Next up is we're going to actually uh, concatenate that field with the value that comes from the uh, uh, from the loop. 
and then you have to continue like that. So uh, uh, when the we have a pair, uh, the field name, colon, the value, semicolon, a new field name, colon, the value, and so on and so on. It, it doesn't matter how many uh, parameters or fields that you want to add, but you have to always separate them with a semicolon and then have an uh, information, the field name, and then column the, uh, the field value. So this is how you can now add multiple items into a data source, uh, into this data source data collection. So now what it will have after this flow has run, it will have uh, multiple records, one record for each opportunity. And what you will see is that we are passing on the same, oh, let's go here. We are passing on the same data source ID. So that's no, that's how the system, how, how PDF Butter will know that actually this data is part of a list and that we will have to add all of this data into a list uh, for the same data source. Okay, now uh, we have all the data. We just have to pass it on to PDF Butter for, uh, for it to be called. So if we pass it on to PDF Butter, what can we do? We have this new item here where you say, put your data together in a flow and pass it on via PDF Butter. This is just the uh, collection variable, as you can see here, that you can put here. So this is all the records now of all the data sources that you want to have filled dynamically via uh, the flow. And that's it. Well, that's how you populate data into, an, uh, into a data source. Very important, of course, in the configuration, uh, the data source will not have any fields. So in the configuration, you will have to manually add every field into the uh, uh, into the data source in the configuration page. Because as I said, the data source will not have any fields because we can't know the fields uh, in advance. The names of the fields you define in the flow. So in the flow, you're gonna call this formula. And in that formula, you define that the name of the, uh, the field is name in this case, is H for this one, and is street for this one. So that's what you define, and that's the name, and that's the field values or the names of the fields you have to add in the configuration uh, uh, manually. So just to show what I'm talking about here, if you add the data source into your configuration, you will add have to add the field. So the field was called name, age, and street. Of course. It would be better that you do this lowercase because then everything is nicely in the same order. And I'm going to also fix that right here. I'm going to make this lowercase. So that's how you add the data sources, uh, the data in the data sources via the flow. And that's how you configure the configuration screen with the key value data source. And make sure it has all the fields and the fields are mapped correctly uh, the from the flow into the configuration screen over here.